smoking on Concentrate Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping, ayy hey. What up, YouTube fam? It's the one and only, the homie Nomi. Wanted to pop in with a quick video just to give you some tips on the way I like to do things. From popping my seeds, to transplanting them, to getting them ready to put them in bloom. But before I get into this video, you already know the deal. This is just the way that I like to do things. I'm not telling you this is the way you should do it, and I'm not saying it's the only way that works. There's plenty of ways it works. There's plenty of ways to do this. You just gotta find the one that works easiest for you. This is how I get the most success. All right, I like to pop my seeds. I like to soak them in water. I do that for about 15 to 24 hours. I just don't go over 24 hours. I know a lot of people who do, and like I said, there's tons of ways of doing it. But I like to leave mine in the water for about 15 to 24 hours. And then somewhere in between those marks, I take them out and I put them on a paper towel. And I get the paper towel nice and wet. I put it in a Ziploc bag. And I set it somewhere where the light don't get to it and it stays kind of warm. I don't want it getting too cold. Once they pop, I like to stick them in these little grow bags. It works out nice because I can get a good root system going. And I don't have to worry about drowning them out because that is easy to do with a seedling in a big old pot with a lot of soil. So this is how I like to start it out. Now once I get to, I don't know, maybe my third set of leaves or if I see that the roots are coming through, then I like to transplant. You know the way I transplant. I like to add in a little bit of extra um, earthworm casting. I usually do a cup and a half, and I usually put them in a two-gallon fabric pot on the first transplant. I also use mycos and azos just to get the roots going and really open them out. Then I put them in my two-gallon pots. Now when I put them in the two-gallon pots, I like to water them in with some compost tea just to get the soil good and ready, get the roots stretching out to give them that first boost of Let's get it, you know what I mean? After that, I really don't feed. Not in veg, when it comes to veg, I wait a little while. Now you see how my leaves are starting to look. That's when I start to feed. When my leaves start to look like they are ready for feeding. And ladies and gentlemen, these plants are ready for a good feeding. They have not gone so far to where it's hurting them but they are letting me know they are hungry. So that's how I like to do things. This is my vegging. This is the way I like to pop my seeds. It's the way I like to do my first transplant. And this is how I like to wait to do my first feeding. And it always turns out pretty nice. But again, you two fam, this is just the way your boy does it. This is not the way you gotta do it. There's plenty of ways for you to find. Pick the one that works best for you. You may even have to go through a few things to try to find out what works best for you. All right, YouTube fam, you know the deal. Burn one for your boy. Peace. Still smoking on Concentrate Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate uh -huh. Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping, hey.